have gathered in our care to assess whether free pigs are villains or not. We have to remember that two months ago the pigs were attacked by the wolf. The wolf wa have wanted to eat the pigs and in order to do this, this uh, he destroyed two out of three pigs' houses. One house was ma made of straw, the second was wooden one. Two pigs managed to escape and and found a shelter in their brother's house, which was made made of brick. The most intelligent pig, in order to get rid right of the wolf, uh, came across the mysterious plan. He made the wolf the house through the chimney, where there was a big cauldron with boiling water. In the, in the result, the wolf died in, in a pain. There is a question that despite of the situation, the pigs behaved in an oral way. Dear Judge, I am here to state that the three pigs are villains. They killed the wolf with a cold blood. I am strongly opposed to my colleague. The three pigs were only small creatures who were attacked by the wolf. We cannot forget about the right of the self-defense. The wolf came in order to kill and eat the three pigs. They knew that if they hadn't done anything, they would have ended up their precious lives. As we know, there are 15 states where the right to shoot in self-defense is expanded. As Professor Sebok said, in effect, the law allows citizens to kill other citizens in defense of property. We know that the pigs are peaceful creatures and they don't have guns. However, their weapon was intelligent mind, so they had right to do whatever it was possible to defend themselves, even to kill. The behavior of the pigs, despite of their cruelty, was necessary, so it didn't mail them be villains. I would like to mention that there is the right to self-defense and defense of property. However, the pigs could, didn't have to kill the wolf. They could use some different ways or ideas to get rid of him. They were safe in the house of the bricks, and the wolf couldn't come in. They should just have waited patiently till the wolf would have discarded himself and uh, would have gone away. They should also have found the police. We cannot forget that they had mobile phones. We cannot forget that the pigs were under tremendous pressure and they can't be blamed for the death of the wolf. I would like to call up the most famous psychologist in our state, Dr. Smith. Good morning ladies and gentlemen. I would like to express my opinion about the behavior of the three pigs. The modern psychology quotes that people have the pigs under a huge stress, react spontaneously and cannot be assessed for their behavior. In this case, the pigs wanted to rescue themselves and they behaved on the spot. They weren't aware of the results of their action. According to me, they can't take responsibility for their action. I cannot agree with Mr. Smith and my colleague. We can't forget that the oldest pig was very intelligent and calm during the wolf's attack. His plan was very logical and cruel. By his behavior, we have to deny that the pig didn't react unconsciously and under the pressure. He aimed to kill the wolf with cold blood. That makes the pigs guilty. My colleague has presented the pigs as cruel, bad animals. I cannot agree with that picture. The pigs are very gentle and kind and they weren't able to kill any animal in this world. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I have been a neighbor of the pigs for 10 years and I know them very well. Could you please describe the pigs' character? Were they able to kill any animal? I've been living next to the pigs for 10 years and I know them very well. They are very honest and wonderful animals. They couldn't kill the wolf without a purpose. They have hearts of gold and they are very helpful animals. They even risked their lives to help an old lady cross a very dangerous street. I am convinced that their behavior was caused only by the self-defense and tremendous pressure. 
It's only the wolf who is to blame. He wanted to eat the pigs. As a witness, I would like to call up the wolf's friend in order to show that he was a very gentle animal and only wanted to make the pigs be scared. I am a wolf's friend. I have known him for many, many years. He was a very gentle and nice animal. I know that he was a carnival. Every wolf is. It is obvious that wolves do not eat cabbages and carrots. He was very hungry. He hasn't been eating for a couple of days that time. You know, there was not enough squirrels to eat. The wolf was just a poor animal. He wanted to eat something. What would you do if you saw it nice, fat and delicious pigs? I would definitely thought about nice dinner by the fire. It isn't strange that the wolf tried to eat the pigs. And what's more, it is the pigs' fault that the wolf blew their two houses. If they had built the strong houses, the wolf wouldn't have destroyed them and they would have been safe. Moreover, the pigs knew the wolf and they also were aware to the fact that the wolf wasn't very intelligent. They wanted to get rid of this poor animal for a long time. The pigs killed my friend deliberately. As you see, the wolf is a carnivore. He must eat meat if he wants to live. What's more, he was very hungry. We cannot blame him for an attempt to eat the pigs. A lot of people see him as a villain, but why? Because he only wanted not to be hungry? You people normally eat chickens or nice well done pork steak. So why do you blame the poor wolf for his nature? My friends told us that the pigs are guilty. Please, look at them. They are defenseless creatures. They have no sharp teeth or sharp claws. They have to struggle to survive. They live in a fear that they could be eaten someday. Do you really think that their life is happy? Could you imagine what they felt while this brutal wolf wanted to eat them? They were terrified, scared to death. They had to do something to get rid of the danger. The oldest pig was very intelligent. He worked out a very clever plan. He did not force the wolf to go through the chimney. Wolf did it on his own. He should be aware of the fact that it could be a trap. Why do the pigs have to struggle and be blamed? Why? They did not force the wolf to go through the chimney. The wolf did it on his own. His hunger and the will of eating the pigs was much stronger than his common sense. In that case, can the pigs be villains? I am strongly convinced that the pigs are not guilty. We have a very strange case here. We are here to decide who the villain is, the wolf or the pigs. The wolf wanted to eat the pigs. It is said that he blew the two pigs' houses out. They found the shelter at their oldest brother's house. It was a very strong house with a nice fire. However, the wolf was very hungry. He still waited and wanted to eat the pigs. We can't forget that he had not been eating for many days. He is a carnivore, so he eats meat. In normal circumstances, pigs are bred to be killed and eaten by the people. People are omnivores. Because of that they can eat everything from plants to meat and they still kill animals and have wonderful and delicious meals. Our wolf do not eat cabbages or carrots. It's normal for him to eat meat. He has no choice but to eat or a smaller or a bigger animal. He chose pigs. The pigs wanted to be safe. They all the time are afraid that they could be eaten or by people or by predators. Is it normal and situation for them? Definitely not. Please put yourself in this situation. They only have their brains to fight. Uh, they can't do anything except or to do nothing and be eating or to cry for help and defend themselves. The law of nature is cruel. Because of that fact we can't blame anybody to be villain when it comes to animals. Wolves only want to have full stomach and have their families fed. The pigs 
want to live and have their happy lives. Why should they be killed? Both of the sides have the right to eat and to live happily. This is the nature to be blamed, it treated and the, the wolf to eat meat. So why do you people show their children the wolf as a bad character eating lovely and delicious ham or bacon? Who is villain then?